Hey sis, hey! Welcome back to my channel! <laughs> it's your girl Shot and I am back! Boom. I just always wanted to do that. Don't mind me. <laughs> if this is your first time clicking on this video, please click on the subscribe button below because that will help support your girl's channel. And you want to support your girl's channel, right? That's why you're here and I appreciate every single person watching this video, every person that subscribed. Listen, in honor of St. Patty's Day or month, I guess March is a little bit of both, I am doing this green look for you guys. What you think? What you think? You like it? You like it? Well, stay tuned as I give you play by play on how I got this look. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Now on to the video. Alright, let's get started. You know I always start with a misting spray. Eyebrows were done off camera, so now we're going to start with this beautiful blue color in the crease. To deepen that crease color, we're going to use the navy blue. Okay, now let's clean up those edges with the light blue color. Now you know my favorite base comes out in almost every video. I'm using it now to cut my crease. When cutting your crease, you have to take your time to carve out that eye shape. Now for my first lid color. I'm going in with this white translucent color. I know, you were like, but where's the green? Isn't this a St. Patty's Day look? There goes the green. I was going for a gradient effect, so I added a deeper green as my third color so it would have a gradual build. When using shimmery colors, it is best for you to pat and swipe down on the eyes. It's okay to take a step back and look at your eye and see what is missing. For me, I wanted to build back up those colors because I felt like a lot of them was missing after I put the deeper green color. Now I'm using that blue that I used earlier to close out that eye. Now it's time for my favorite white gold pigment. To apply, you just apply a thin layer of clear um, lash glue and it will stick perfectly. You know I had to apply those lashes off screen, but I'm back for the jump off. Now it's time for the primer. You know the primer helps smooth out your skin so when you put the foundation on top it will look airbrush trust me you need a primer today i'm trying out a new foundation it's from juvia's place let's see how i like it A little goes a long way. Did you see the little dots that I put on before? And look at this full coverage. Man, this is what we call a full, full, full coverage foundation. So if you're one of those people that like the skin look and the satin look, this is not for you, honey. Don't, don't do it. Trying something else that I purchased that's in my collection now. This is a concealer from Smashbox. Now it's time for contouring. I'm using this e.l.f. concealer to contour. I'm still trying to figure out whether I like cream contour, 
liquid contour or powder we'll see right now i i just use all three when dealing with concealer you have to blend that out really quickly because concealers are made to dry quickly so if you haven't blend that thing out you will have a mark that's hard to move I let that concealer sit a little bit so it can dry just a little bit so when you blend it it gives you more of a full coverage look but I'm liking this new concealer from Smashbox it looks very nice on my skin okay so I wanted to brighten under my eyes just a little bit so I added a lighter concealer so something that's a shade lighter from what I just had and then I put that on top of the concealer that I already blended out and now I'm blending it into my skin I'm using this brush just to blend in the contour with the highlight. It's time for powder. Okay, I'm not a baker, so what I do is I just press the powder into my skin and then I wipe it off. Now it's time to bring the deeper colors back into my face with the powder contour. You see what I mean? I do liquid. I do powder. Uh, help me guys. Time for an oldie but a goodie. NYX blush. Man, that was one of the first blushes I tried when starting out as a makeup artist. Now, do you use mascara for your lower lashes? If so, Huda Beauty just did her thing with this double-sided mascara. Y'all check her out because it's awesome. Now, it's time for the makeup artist hack. Instead of using a liner, use a deeper color lipstick. It's easier to blend two lipsticks together than it is for a liner and a lipstick. Don't say I never taught you anything, because I just taught you something. All right, let's top that brown lip liner with a nice peachy muted tone. I was going for a much brighter look so I just added a brighter color on top all items used will be listed in the comment section below so go ahead and check the description bar so you can see everything that I used now I'm using the liner just to clean up the lips just a little bit so I can make sure that both sides blend in now you know when you see that finishing spray that means we are all done it is a wrap, honey. Don't your girl clean up nicely. Now, let me hit you with the angle. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, hey. <laughs> How do you like this look? Are you into green? You know, it's St. Patty's month. So I had to hit you with some green. What do you think? I don't normally do green. What? It's worth a try. What you think? Would you rock green? Do you have a favorite green look that you do on a regular? Listen, let's take it to the comment section below. You know I like to converse with y'all down here. So go ahead and while you down there, MVPs, you know what to do. Drop that purple emoji. Come on, let's go, let's go. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe 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 to your girl's channel and i will be back at another day at another time maybe in two weeks maybe before that we'll see but just catch your girl click that notification button so when i drop a video you won't be lost and be like what happened because you gonna already know right and i will see you on the next video bye sis